Hey, Isla, look, I fixed the pool. Oh, there's a better way of testing that. All right, enough horse playing around. I know you all love this map. I want to do the most realistic millennial farmer, Zach Johnson, the legend, build as possible. Of course, you got to have his beautiful truck here. And if you know Zach Johnson, you know he likes red. Well, let's get to it. So the goal of this is I'm getting Zach's place built as most realistic as possible without getting creeps or stalkerism. So I know Zach got a new boat. He's hinted at it at Off the Husk. And uh, I don't know exactly what he got. So I got him a Mastercraft. I think this he would like this. This is definitely a fun in the sun when you're joy enjoying a beverage type of boat, I think. Of course, Zach's pulling it with his uh, Silverado all red truck here. And I know Zach doesn't have these, one of these, but Zach loves uh, Polaris. He's a big Polaris fan. We have to have a Polaris side by side. So I've been setting up this farm for a while now. The most important part is what we need to get to. We got to get to his hobby garage here. So this used to be his garage. Now he says it basically just uses it for hobby more than anything. Let's some lights. Let's turn on these lights here. So we got, he's got a few four-wheelers. I'm pretty sure they're Polaris, but uh, I don't have a Polaris four-wheeler. He's going to have to go with Can-Am and Yamaha. Uh, if you know Zach, he's a huge mod racer. This is car owner's Corey's car here. He drives it. Uh, I don't know exactly what his uh, sponsors are or anything, but this is as close as I can find. You got to think this I'm limited to the mods I have and if you don't know I have a little bit more mods than the average player if somebody mods it that means I'll have it and I'm trying to get as close as possible to real life if you don't know his son has recently took up uh, cart racing so I got him a little cart here he's been uh, tinkering with it and uh, we got all his toolboxes because basically this this is where they work on the car this is where they put mods on this car and his cart uh, they do a lot of tinkering in this garage we got the new tractor to him his first tractor he bought a 6175R with a loader and it does have a snow blower on the back this is all new don't even think he's actually used this in winter time he's I know he complained about it that he bought it all new and then it never snowed for him. This would be the ultimate chore tractor. Basically, I think that's all he uses it for. I, I don't think he uses it at all in the field unless for rock picking. And if you see, we still have a lot to put down. I still have a lot of uh, equipment. He is uh, just a uh, father and son operation for the most part. A multi-generation family farm but they uh, but they do have a lot of equipment once you uh, start buying it all right so it took me a while to get all this set up oh my goodness does uh, he ever use a lot of equipment so we'll go through all this equipment and this is as close as possible as I could possibly get to Zach's farm the millennial farmer and his dad's equipment so uh, we got a Peterbilt. This is their brand new. I'm pretty sure their dad bought this. It's a Peterbilt. has a sleeper on back. Uh, it has a Wilson 40-foot uh, uh, hopper on the back. Uh, he likes Tempe, so all of his trailers are. But I have one trailer that's a Tempe, but uh, it's not as a 40-foot, so it just doesn't look right. They do all have electronic openers. So he has this uh, 1432X J&M grain cart. Pretty sure he purchased that after uh, his uh, demo he did of it. Sweet looking American flag. That is one of the best looking grain carts out there. He has an 80 
360 RT. Couldn't get a 60, so this is a 70, a little bit newer style uh, RT. Uh, we'll go into the first shed here. So he's got the thunder. Is it thundering? The Thunder Creek uh, trailer. Man, this thing is sweet. All the options on it. If you uh, watch Brian's farming videos, he also puts a uh, welder and an air compressor in the back here. Pretty good setup if you're pulling it around all the farms. He has a 8260R here on a uh, 60 foot 1770 uh, DB60 John Deere planter. He did put aftermarket uh, tracks on the back for compaction. Uh, make it easy float in the uh, because that's a lot of weight with the center fill boxes like that He has two T800 Kenworths both red both with uh, uh, 40 foot trailers on the back the only thing is she, he has two sleeper T800 uh, Kenworths, but these I didn't have a sleeper version So it just had to go with the single cab most farmers they end up going with the sleeper version primarily because of cost costs them a lot less costs them a five to six thousand dollars less just to get without a sleeper so he does have a uh, fertilizer trailer not exactly uh, the water uh, tank that he has but similar to his so he, he uh, basically it is a uh, it's a box trailer and he puts a seed or a fertilizer totes in it now everything and it has about three uh, water tanks in it similar to that I thought that's as close as possible as I could possibly get to his trailer he has a uh, 4730 John Deere sprayer with rear duels uh, 100 foot booms on there this is the closest possibly I could get to that. Pretty good looking uh, sprayer if I have to say so myself. First time I used it. Definitely looks good. I love the duels on the back. And we got a for sale. A W900 Kenworth. Uh, unfortunately, that one uh, he did put up for auction. I don't think, know if he still has it, if it's sold or not. But I figured it is probably means it's their extra uh, semi now it's definitely gonna be on their uh, fertilizer tender there we'll get to that in a little bit we got a uh, 9560 RT yeah that's a 9560 not a 70 this is a 70 he has a 60 he was thinking about upgrading it to a 9570 RT because the transmission went out but uh, it's on 30 inch tracks it's usually pulling the deep ripper John Deere deep ripper here uh, this thing is so sweet uh, 2730 John Deere deep ripper so all the options on this this thing is almost exactly how he has everything is almost perfect how he has it just found this thing perfect setup for deep ripping they just got a John Deere 332G uh, skid steer. They still have this under fur. This is not the right color. I'm pretty sure theirs this year is green. It is a bumper pull like that. Like always, they have the FBN seed totes in the back here. I do have some other seed totes like he has, but I don't think I loaded them correctly. But uh, he is. I don't think he's picked up his next year's seed yet. He just has uh, this year's, which would probably be pretty much used up, and he just have fertilize. He does have a, uh, this is an older style, but he does have a uh, 90 series. He's called it like the birth control truck, which probably is, especially if you're gonna drive that to school, but it works. It's definitely a great repair truck. Uh, it, if you're not going to drive it around except when you break down uh, there's a side-by-side uh, -side. he does have a truck similar to this uh, 3500 HD 
so it isn't a, it's a gasser it's a little bit lower than this it's a dual uh, does have duels on it doesn't have all these uh, stickers on here but uh, this is the only one I could find in a 2014 model I believe his is or four model something like that he uh, has a bumper pole camper really I mean that's getting pretty uh, specific if I get that personal with him uh, but it's similar to this that they go camping with he does not have a Corvette but his dad does seen it in a few videos of his his dad has a Corvette figured it's almost perfect I've seen it parked in the garage a few times good-looking Corvette lucky man lucky man he's worked hard for it though he's got a few toolboxes around here he's got his uh, John Deere 332 little uh, he uses it mostly for uh, spraying and all that stuff probably barely used uh, his his harvester they own is a 9870 STS John Deere they do have a chopper head 12 row they recently upgraded to a 12 row chopper head beautiful John Deere like he says it's a uh, S series for way cheaper and I have to agree with them especially when uh, corn and bean prices nowadays I don't know if they're gonna be able to upgrade and you never know John Deere might want them to try out the new X series harvester this year so I mean why would you when John Deere is gonna give it to you or give it to you for harvest for free they do have a zero turn John Deere mower that his son drives around this is his truck here I think that, okay so in the back here some of the stuff he owns this he does own a bat wing it's not a rhino like this it is a similar color uh, it's a woods or something like that don't know exactly but it's not a rhino he does own a mandaco uh, 40 foot roller not like uh, similar to this it's just a roller all these rollers are pretty much the same so this is his deep band uh, fertilizer his deep band fertilizer rig here it's a I believe a 30 foot it is basically a chisel plow with a uh, John Deere uh, 1910 uh, tinder on the back works great with this this is uh, almost the same setup as his but his is a chisel plow not a, uh, a cultivator so it has chisels instead of uh, knives on the side there similar to that as close as I can get remember I'm fighting with uh, I'm fighting with uh, the mods that they currently have in game especially the mods I found uh, he does have a John Deere uh, cultivator but the ones I had doesn't fold up like his does so I ended up getting a Great Plains because it folds up similar to his has rolling baskets about the same uh, baskets in the rear of it as what he has something like this he uses right to get that seabed just perfect right before the planter he does not have an 8 RX a 4010 but he did demo one that's why a lot of these are in the back yeah so he did his most popular demo ever you would think it was probably this 8RX or that John Deere in the back nope jet Zach has admitted it himself it's this MT 743 Challenger track I love these 3d tracks on this thing looks so good um, I have to say this is a pretty good-looking uh, Challenger in my opinion Challenger definitely has stepped it up recently but he, recently, Zach did borrow, or uh, get to demo, more like it, a 4010 8RX. So that's why this is here 
on a 120 inch 24 inch tracks that thing is sweet it just definitely rides high you can tell well maybe it rides about the same as a challenger thought it rode a little high these are some of his demoed uh, harvesters here or equipment so last year he got to demo during corn harvest and in bean harvest an S790 on tracks and man was that thing sweet definitely worked out almost perfect for the millennial farmer because that was a extremely wet year for him it's a wet year for most farmers so he said multiple times how lucky he has been with uh, working as John Deere as partners helping him out he did a lot of people probably don't even know this demoed a uh, Kloss harvester not for sure on the model but I think I know it was a Lexion it was their uh, their last year's construction yellow color like this uh, he didn't have much luck with it it's probably mostly because it wasn't set right but he did demo it for a few days and most people probably don't even know he did demo a versatile on tracks the beautiful colors and everything uh, for uh, tillage uh, a little while ago probably don't know it this is kind of a bad model that they have but uh, works good you guys are probably all screaming at their uh, screens right now I forgot the most popular tractor of all and that's the G750 Minneapolis Moline so this is not the G750 so his is an extremely rare tractor that has an aftermarket uh, loader on it not like this but close to this all right I, I took my lashings I remembered it sorry I need your help all you people what you want to see all the other youtubers are just playing as Zach I have never really liked playing like everyone else I always wanted to be different I always wanted to stand out that's just the way I am not that I want to not that I want to walk on any of the other youtubers I just that's the way don't really want to play just like that it would be fun to play just as Zach but I do have a few ideas think it possibly as just be a neighbor of Zach move in here possibly just have uh, Zach as a good neighbor that we can work with and maybe even do a little farm hand work farm hand work with Zach I mean I don't know if I can compete with Jim the ultimate uh, you know get her stuck uh, hired hand but think possibly maybe during their busy times I might be able to move in as a hired hand if I missed anything else, leave it down in the comments. How you'd like me to play would be awesome. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. Over here in Minnesota? I don't know. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Do you think Carl or Corey would care if I do this? just sounds so good don't forget like the video and if you're serious about gaming and you want to play with all these mods that I have right here should check out apex gaming PCs they make some killer killer gaming setups for a little amount of money check them out use the code squad later y'all